What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to show you guys the top four best easy casual tryout outfits to make for your male character. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the outfits. This will be the first outfit I'm going to show you on how to make. So after you do make it to the clothing store, you're going to walk up here to the front counter. Scroll down until you do find outfits biker, which will be on slot 40. So click on biker and you're going to equip the outfit called the zombie. After you do equip the zombie outfit, you can back out of the front counter. Go over here to the top section. Scroll down until you find designer t-shirts, which will be up here on slot 34. And you're going to look for the VDG skeleton t-shirt on slot 13. Once you do equip the VDG skeleton t-shirt, you should see that it's on the biker jacket and it's also on your t-shirt like this. Once it is on your biker jacket like this, you can then back out of the top section, go over here to the pants section, click on jeans on slot one, and you're going to scroll up until you do find the black rocker or the rocker print fitted on slot 59. So once you do equip these jeans, you can then just back out of the, the pants section, walk over here to your accessories, go to gloves on slot seven and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do equip the black woolen gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, scroll down to slip-ons on slot 12 and equip the white canvas slip-ons on slot nine. Now that you do have the white canvas slip-ons, back under the shoe section. Now we're gonna head over here to the mask store for our mask and helmet. When you have made it to the mask store, just walk over here to your mask, scroll down to crime on slot nine, and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the manor, the skulls manor face bandana on slot 35. Once you do equip this crime bandana mask, you can then just back out of the mask, walk over here to the hats, which will be on the left side, go to tribbles or tribblees, which will be on slot eight. And you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and look for black bowler hat on slot 51 and equip it on your character. You should see that it goes with the bandana mask like this. Now for the final thing or the second to the final thing, right now you're gonna to wanna to equip a parachute on your character and to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on and have it set to the black combat shoe bag like this. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, you're gonna to go to a gun store go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. After you do that, back up to the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it'll be set to the black combat shoe bag like this. Now you're just gonna head back to the clothing store so then we can remove one accessory. Once you have made it back to the clothing store, go over here to your glasses, click on any selections of glasses, it doesn't really matter, and then you're just gonna go up to the top, which will be on slot one, and put on no glasses. And once you do click on no glasses, you should say that it's off your character. And that will be all. So here's what the outfit looks like in the pause menu. This is what it'll look like whenever you're done. So now go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. When you have saved it, we can now move on to the second casual tryhard outfit. Now that we're on the second outfit, you're just gonna walk back over here to the top section, scroll down until you find racing jackets, which will be on slot 12. So click on racing jackets and you're gonna equip the fatal satin jacket on slot 22. Once you do equip this racing jacket, you can then just back out of the top section, head over here to the pants section. Then you're just gonna scroll down to shorts on slot three and equip the Harsh Souls checked boards on slot 84. After you do equip these shorts, back under the pants section, head over here to your accessories. You're then gonna go to gloves on slot seven and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And that will be all for your accessories. So after you have the gloves, head over here to your shoes, go to sports shoes on slot nine and look for the red sports shoes on slot 55. After you do equip these sports shoes, back out of the shoe section, head over here to your hat, go to caps backward on slot five and equip the vapid cap on slot 11. Once you do have this cap backward, back out of the hats, go over here to the glasses. You're then just gonna click on sports glasses and look for the tropical urban ski on slot 30. After you do equip the tropical urban ski, you can then just back out of the glasses. Now for the parachute, you're gonna pull up your interaction menu Go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag like this. If you don't have it, what you're going to do is go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. After you buy it, back up to the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it'll be set to the black combat shoe bag 
just like this. Now for the vest, you can back out of your parachute, go up to your inventory. You're gonna also back out of your accessories or your style and then go to your inventory, go to body armor, go to your show armor and set it to the standard armor, which is this black vest right here. And whenever you have done that, we can now go over here to the mask door for the final accessory on our outfit. When you are at the mask door, walk over here to the mask, scroll down until you find face on slot 11, and you're gonna equip the black bigness face on slot 17. And once you do that, it should merge with your goggles and your hat, just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So now you can walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. And after you have saved it, that will be all. So now we can just move on to the third outfit for our male character. This will be the third outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, walk back over here to the top section, scroll down until you find racing jackets on slot 12 and equip the stunts satin jacket on slot 23. And once you do equip this racing jacket back up to the top section, head over here to your pants. You're then just gonna click on jeans, which will be on slot one and equip the red splatter fitted on slot 62. After you have these jeans, back into the pants section, walk over here to your accessories. You're then gonna go to gloves on slot seven and look for the black driving gloves on slot 62. After you have the gloves, that's all for your accessories. So walk over here to your shoes, click on sneakers on slot two and equip the all red studded sneakers on slot 34. Now that you do have these sneakers, back out of the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down until you do find a trucker caps backward on slot 31 and you're going to look for the scarlet trucker backwards on slot 47. Once you do have this red trucker cap backward back out of the hat section go over here to your glasses you're then just going to go to sports glasses and look for the tropical urban ski on slot 30. When you do have these sports glasses back out of the glasses section now for the body armor you're going to pull up your interaction menu go to inventory go to your body armor go to show armor and set it to the standard armor which will look like this the black vest now that your character has the standard armor you're going to back out of body armor back out of your inventory go to your style go to your parachute and set it to on and have it set to the black combat shoe bag like this if you don't have the black combat shoe bag you're going to go to a gun store go up to the front counter go to parachute go to parachute bags and then after you buy the black combat shoe bag you're going to back out of the front counter pull up your interaction menu go to style Go to your parachute, set it to on, and then it should be set to the black combat shoe bag like this. All we're going to do now is just head to the mask store for our outfit. When you have made it to the mask store, you're just going to walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21, and you're going to equip the black and red tight ski on slot 55. After you do that, you should see that the goggles and the hat come off. Now we're gonna head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. After you guys make it to a pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you're gonna scroll through your hats until you do find the red scarlet trucker hat. So your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find the red, the scarlet trucker backwards, which will look like this, you can put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask and the hat will merge together like this. Now we're gonna do the telescope glitch again to get the goggles. So run by the telescope, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place, look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and just scroll through your glasses until you do find the tropical urban ski. Your, your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. After you find the tropical urban ski, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and then you should see that the hat, the goggles, and the mask merge all together, just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So now, here's what the outfit looks like in the pause menu, just in case you guys are wondering. That will be all. Now just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and yeah. Now, let's just move on to the fourth and final outfit. Okay guys, now for the fourth and final outfit, I'm gonna show you on how to make the orange joggers outfit in the thumbnail. So to do this, this only does work for Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. Sorry Xbox One players, you guys cannot get the orange joggers. But I will leave 
two links in the description, one for Xbox, and the second one will be for PlayStation. They both work for PS4 and PS5. So after you do bookmark the job in the description, you're gonna need to restart your game. After you restart your game, load into a brand new session. And then after you're in the new session, you're gonna hit pause, go to online, go to jobs, go to play job, click on bookmark, click on last team standing. Now, if you're on Xbox Series X and S, you're gonna look for this dash job by Kenza. And now if you're on PS4 or PS5, you're gonna look for a power play mission. After you do find the job, you're just gonna start it up. When you load into the job, you don't need to do anything, just invite a friend. Whenever your friend does join, confirm the settings, and then you can launch the job. Whenever you're in here, just hit ready to play. And you can see whenever you load into the job that you are wearing the outfit you had on before you started the job and you will see if you are the host, you are wearing the orange joggers with the orange bulletproof helmet. Now, if you want to go ahead and save the outfit, just pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and you're going to go to your gloves on slot 13 and scroll through your gloves for at least a few seconds. After you've scrolled through your gloves, you can now put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. And there you guys go. We loaded back into a public or an invite only session and you will be wearing the orange joggers and the orange bulletproof helmet. That's if you were the host player, but if you were the second player, you would load back into a session with the purple joggers and the purple bulletproof helmet. Now, all you wanna do is just head to a clothing store. When you make it to the clothing store with the orange joggers outfit, I would recommend you to just go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. Just in case you guys want to make an outfit later with the orange bulletproof helmet, you can. But after you do save the outfit, let's create the orange joggers outfit in the thumbnail. Now to create this outfit, obviously make sure you're wearing the orange joggers, and then you can go up here to the top section, scroll down until you find it designer hoodies on slot 42, and you're going to equip the orange pullover hoodie on slot 18. After you do equip the orange pullover hoodie, back out of designer hoodies, scroll down to slot 60, which will be utility vest, and you're gonna equip the ice plate carrier on slot 51. So once you do have the designer hoodie and the utility vest, that's all for the top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the orange joggers, but go over here to your accessories, click on gloves on slot seven, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. Now that your character has the white cotton gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, go to sport shoes on slot nine and look for the white sport shoes on slot 28. Now that your character has these sport shoes, back out of the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down until you do find trucker caps forward on slot 30 and you're gonna buy the orange trucker forward on slot 46. After you do equip the orange trucker forwards cap back out of the hat section now for the mask all we're going to do is now just go over here to the mask store whenever you have made it to the mask store just walk over here to your mask scroll down to face which will be on slot 11 and scroll down to the bottom on slot 26 and equip the orange bigness face and it should merge together with the orange hat now that you do have the orange mask and hat together to pull up the hood you're going to pull up your interaction menu go to style Scroll down to hood, which will be on slot 17. And if it does say down, just press right on the D-pad once to set it to up just like this. And when your outfit looks like this, if you guys want a better view, here's what it looks like in the pause menu. And that will be all whenever you're done. So then you can just walk over here to the tops, the hats or the mask, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved it, that will be all. Now, the only downside is whenever you do get on top of a bike or if you do get in a car, you'll see that your hood goes down. So you do have to re-equip the outfit every time. But other than that, that's the only downside for this outfit. So I hope you guys did enjoy all four casual chart outfits in today's video for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.